All right, finally dialed in my microphone. Hopefully you guys can hear me loud and clear. After I switched over, I don't know if it was the echo inside the bus or the fact that I was talking behind the mic, kind of like this. You can see it, it uh, changes with the direction because it's a directional mic. Anyways, last couple days I didn't film. I uh, forgot my memory card yesterday, but uh, I whacked my arm. It's, can't really tell, but I kind of bruised or broke a blood vessel. I'm not really sure, I maybe bruised it. So I'm gonna take today off, ice it. Hands a little tingly. Uh, I heated the tank overnight with the uh, coolant heater. Now I'm running the pump through the system. I'm pulling it out of the drain plug with a ball valve into the Davco, which I took off the system because it was leaking coolant and through the pump and then back into the tank. So uh, hopefully I won't have any issues driving to Portland. That is the plan. That is the hope. That is the idea. Up here, this is a, uh, a privacy, um, I don't know, we'll call it like a clear tent. Like I said before, everything is available on Amazon. Amazon pays me a small commission. Buyer uh, beware, or I should say, uh, buyer be alerted. This is what the privacy film looks like. Um, I kind of like it. I don't even know if I need a curtain um, or not. I might do a little caulking on the lower window uh, on the corners, just for fun. So anyways, I'm gonna be leaving <laughs> in like a, I don't know, a week. I gotta get up to the bus fare. I think a friend is joining me for a ride north to Portland. And uh, what else? I don't know. So I'm trying to do what I can here. I'm also gonna stop by and see Waterboom uh, I was not very successful at installing this. Um, there's a little gap right here, which I don't really like. So um, this was kind of tricky and I, I just don't want to put more holes in this gorgeous count uh, this uh, armrest here. So there's kind of a gap there too. So like I said, I'm gonna stop by and see him. Hopefully we can fix that up in a day or so. Uh, but I'm gonna do what I can before I leave and time is ticking. I uh, can't believe it's been almost a year working on this thing. This is not what I expected. This is not what I planned for. Uh, I thought I was gonna be, we were gonna build this thing, have a DIY series, um, all that and, and it turned out the way it did, which is fine, totally cool. I love the way it turned out, but uh, yeah, just wasn't expecting this kind of time investment for this project. Also, I just wanna uh, thank all of the people with awesome comments. Um, <laughs> I am not a perfect person. I'm not a builder. Uh, I am like you. If you have next to no experience with this kind of stuff, um, we're on the same page. Uh, no building background, no mechanical background, but I, I, I'm learning little things here and there and I, as I go and um, I'm uh, a lot easier on myself than some people are on me, and uh, I just appreciate the people who see the big picture uh, going on here. You see the struggle, you see the lessons I've learned, and uh, I appreciate all the support, and uh, I'm looking forward to get back, in, back on the road soon. All right, so after the last time when I whacked my hand, you can't really see the kind of brown color is gone, but this whole thing was pretty bruised I couldn't really use my left hand if anybody's well navigation nowhere last summer had did that same thing he chose to work through it I on the other hand chose to not so anyways you've ever done that before your hand gets a little weird you can't make a fist uh, it hurts it's sore it tingles I don't know something it just feels off it still feels a little weird but anyways I'm back um, I'm gonna leave in two real days time so the next video is probably me on the road or leaving or something um, I am not too happy about that because I've already moved locations multiple times and it doesn't make me smile. So I need to pack up all my stuff. I need to leave. It was 105 today and I am uh, heading to the bus fair June 8th. 
That is in about 10 days from now. Uh, so yeah, um, even though I'm a little disappointed I didn't finish, I have many things to be thankful for. So I'm trying to keep everything in perspective. I'm, and I'm most importantly trying to manage my expectations. Managing expectations is a great way to minimize being disappointed in your life. Um, and along with that minimizing expectation, I don't know if I'm gonna go to Alaska because time. Uh, I don't wanna go up there and back. Someone mentioned before is $4,000 round trip at $6 a gallon. If I'm gonna spend $4,000, I'm gonna spend it on getting skydive certified, not driving and wasting fuel. So there, that could be my fall winter plans. I'm gonna start packing up the bus. Well, would you look at that? All cleaned up. No more oil system, no more oil setup. I got about 40 gallons in the bathroom. So we were ready to rock and roll. Nothing else here, tent is gone. Inside is, doesn't even look like, we're like, where'd all my stuff go? Well, it's all under the bed. And then of course I have three bags with oil inside, a composting toilet, $15 composting toilet. If you haven't seen that video, Go back some videos and watch it save a lot of money just some miscellaneous dewalt tools 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 bed is going to go in tonight yeah everything's loaded in man so whew, just gonna have a little going away dinner tonight and uh get back on the road so just want to thank my arizona family out here for all the hospitality especially glenn for letting me park here for six months Glenn, he needs to put that saw back thank you for, goes. yes, I know. Thank you for letting me park here for six months. Has it been that long? <laughs> yeah. Thanks for helping, dude. I got you, man. All right, fast forward to packing up and leaving day. I have almost all my stuff in the bus. Uh, my feeling of disappointment is uh, gone down a little bit because I realized how much I've accomplished, of course. It's always nice to reflect. Sometimes difficult in the moment, but uh, anyways. Today's a day to put the bed in. I'm gonna show, there's been several people who were like, why didn't you put the bed in? Why didn't you put the bed in? The reason was this. I wanted to finish this beforehand and I wanted to do some more trim. I wanted to cut this thing shorter, but I ended up just taking a chunk out of it so I can reach the latch a little easier. Um, I also had the fans, whatever. So anyways, all these excuses. But basically, I just wanted it to be, um, I just didn't want to have to do any more work because once this thing goes in, it's not coming out. As you can see, it didn't take very long. It's now, I don't know, a few inches tall. Uh, and it's uh, getting bigger. So this is the eight inch uh, mattress. I don't know, you know, there's also a 10 inch I think as well. But this is uh, what I have and we'll, I'll show you guys once uh, it fully inf inflates, I guess. All right, so after two nights on the Zinus mattress, I can confirm that this is extremely comfortable. Um, you know, not to uh, compare, contrast. Well, yeah, to compare, but not to like, you know, put down the other mattress I got in the last bus. I happen to prefer a stiff mattress. If you like a firm, mattress the Zinus is great i recommend it and like i said if you get it at walmart it's only 200 dollars so 